Well, I had a request from Countess Love, YouTube user, who uh, I hope is a subscriber. But either way, she asked me to she asked me to show you. Well, she said, "Could you show us?" She asked me to show her and whoever else she's referring to how I trim the wicks on my uh, oil lamps that have this braided wick and they seal up so you can put the lid on them. Makes them great for storing and carrying with you on campouts and backpacking trips and that kind of thing because they're they're tight, no oil leaks out of them. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I just, it's a little messy so I work near the sink and I keep some paper towels or napkins in this case handy. I use a toothpick to advance the wick. And what I do is a lot of the time, but not always, I'll just snip the tip of this toothpick right off so it's not quite as sharp. And then I just pull this whole coil right up out of the right up out of the oil. And you can see that wick is pretty burnt, you know. It gets charred at the tip and it gets fragile, so it's gonna make a mess, which is why I have the napkins handy. And then I just hold this coil. And I try to push it up from underneath. And if you haven't made your coil too, too tight, it should push up. Can you see it moving as I push? And again, if this is too sharp, it'll just stab into the coil. But if you use that, uh, just snip the end off it a little bit. Maybe you don't even need to. Now that's probably enough that I can just grab this, but it'll break off and crush in my fingers. All right, there. Now, see, I've pulled up a little bit, but I'm going to pull this part off and just flick it in the sink. It's just olive oil, so it won't hurt you. I'm going to wipe my fingers on this paper towel so they're cleaner. And now that I've pulled it up like this a little bit, I'm going to just pull it back down just a little bit. I don't want to cut off any extra that I don't need to. And then either using scissors or snips like this, you're just going to put a fresh cut on the tip. Something like that, so it's flat across. And that's pretty much it. And you just reinsert the, reinsert the coil. And that's it. And there's another one, and i got some others here to do. I've just recently did this one, too. And this one, see this one, I made a little handle here. It makes it easier to pull pull out, but it still stays down below. You know, it's just built into the coil that way. And uh, this one, I put a little handle on it so you can carry it, but I found that that wasn't as useful. And this one needs to be trimmed too, so I'll do that later. But that's how you do it. Thank you, Countess Love.